Okay, now we're going to be looking at 10-2, customary capacity. Um, and here's going to be our cheat sheet for the customary units of capacity. And this one's going to be similar to 10-1. The main difference is going to be noted in terms of um, doing two steps or more now. And even with number two, you'll be able to see a second jump. Now, right now we're converting fluid ounces into pints. And for this, I'm going to be using two different colors. I'm going to be using a pencil and a red pen to help you see that what we do in the red pen is going to be coming all from the little cheat sheet that we have. These are the standard conversions. And this um, is something that will be given to you. You don't have to memorize this. So we just need to find out how to get from fluid ounces to pints. Now, if you look at our cheat sheet, you'll see that we have fluid ounces in cups, which is not necessarily fluid ounces in pints. We have cups and pints, quarts and pints, and gallons and quarts. For these um, problems, unlike in 10-1, where we only had one step, sometimes we'll have two steps. And so we're going to be using these fluid ounces, F-L-O-Z, F-L-O-Z um, is the shortcut, fluid ounces, to pints. And so there's not one direct one, here's our closest pint. And you can see here they're in two different lines. There's a fluid ounces to cups and it cups to pints. And so we're going to do two steps for this one. The first thing we're going to do is do this phrase right here, fluid ounces to cups. And so this doesn't change. Your 192 fluid ounces is your standard. And because they're in two separate lines, fluid ounces to cups, cups to pints, the fluid ounces and the pints are on two separate lines, we're going to do two separate equations. So I'm going to draw a line here for the first equation and the second equation. We got this 192 fluid ounces from here. 192 fluid ounces. Actually, I'm going to rewrite this as a pencil because of the fact that we got that from here. We didn't get that from the cheat sheet. Remember, we're going to use the red for only what we got in the cheat sheet. So we're going to change the 192 fluid ounces into, and we can't change it to pints first. We're going to have to change it to cups. So our step one is to change it to cups, C. So we're going to change the fluid ounces into cups. Fluid ounces into cups. Use 192 fluid ounces into cups. So we know that eight fluid ounces is one cup. We're going to use this statement right here. Here are the fluid ounces, here are the fluid ounces. We're going to put eight fluid ounces, which we took from the cheat sheet. Eight fluid ounces. And over on top of the cup, we're going to put one cup, which we're taking from the cheat sheet, which is why we're using the red. And we're going to ask ourselves, how did we get from eight fluid ounces to one cup? How did we get from eight fluid ounces, fluid ounces, fluid ounces, to one cup? The number eight to one, did it get bigger or did it get smaller? Eight to one got smaller. We divided by eight. And check this out. Eight divided by eight equals one. So you divide the fluid ounces by eight to get to the cups. Eight fluid ounces divided by eight will tell you the amount of cups. So if that's the case, if we have 192 fluid ounces, we're going to divide it by 8 to find the amount of cups that we have. So we're going to do 192 fluid ounces divided by 8 to find the cups that we have. Which, in other words, we'll put inside the house. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. So we're going to do 8 times 2 is 16. Minus equals 3 and we group the 2. 8 times 4 is 32 exactly. And so we have 24. But what do we have 24 of? We have 24 cups. Because keep in mind, all we did so far was change the fluid ounces to cups. From here, we have 24 cups. We know that 192 fluid ounces is the same as 24 cups. Because to get from fluid ounces to cups, we divide by 8. 192 divided by 8 is 24 cups. Now we could change the 24 cups, the cups, into pints. And so we're going to take our 24 cups 
And from our 24 cups, we can now figure out the pints. We're going to do it the same way. We're going to look for the cheat sheet for cups and pints. We have one pint equals two cups. So on top of the pint, we're going to put one pint. Here's the pint. We're going to put one pint because we're using the second line. So on top of the pint, we're going to put the one pint. On top of the cups, we're going to put two. So you see where the cups are here? The cups, the cups. We're going to put two cups. Now how do we get from two to one? Going from two to one, did we get bigger or did we get smaller? We got smaller. We divided by two. Two divided by two equals one. Two cups divided by two will equal one pint. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this number here, which is 24, and divide it by two. 24 divided by two will tell us the amount of pints. So we're going to take our 24, and we're going to divide it by two. And 24 divided by two could go into the house. Two times two is one. Oops, four. Two times two is four, with no leftovers. And so your answer is 12, but 12 what? We're now at 12 pints. And what exactly is this question asking for? It's asking for the pints, and now we finally hit to the pints. So our final answer is 12 pints. Now keep in mind, if you're going to use two markers, or two colors, not necessarily markers, the pencil will be the things that you have as given, the 192 fluid ounces. And the things that you could put in a red pen could be the, or blue pen. Um, actually, we correct in red pen, so I'd prefer that you do blue pen. Um, you could put the cheat sheets that we have here. And these are just our standard measurements, okay? Um, it's not something that we made up or anything like that. Let's do one more. Let me go look for one more that I want to do. Um, I'm not going to do number three because we don't have not a lot of room there. But I'm going to pick num another number from four through nine before doing the compare and contrast. Okay, let's try number six now. Ten quarts to cups. And so let's look for ten quarts to cups. It would be great if quarts and cups were in the same line. If they're in the same exact line, then it's only one step. If they're not on the same line, it might be two or three steps. So, quarts to cups. This has cups and fluid ounces. This has pints and cups. This has quarts and pints and gallons and quarts. Hearing that out, I didn't hear quarts and cups in the same line. However, I did see a quart right here, and I saw a cup right here. So, this and this will be the, these two will be the statements that we use. This statement and this statement will make the two um, equations. Now, 10 quarts to cups. We're going from quarts to pints and pints to cup. So the first thing we need to do is change the 10 quarts to pints. We don't know how many pints yet. So we're going to take the statement 10 quarts. 10 quarts. And as you could see, quarts and cups unfortunately don't go on the same line. So we need to change the quarts to pints first. So 10 quarts equals, I don't know how many pints yet. So the 10 quarts we took from here, that's our standard, that's what we're trying to convert. And from our standard measurement, quarts to pints, we're going to put that cheat sheet on top. On top of the quarts, we're gonna put one. So one quart on top of the 10 quart. And on top of the pints, we're gonna put two. You see how there's the PT there, the pints? We're gonna put two. Keep in mind the red is exactly what we found here. One quart, two pints, with the quart being on top of the quart and the pint being on top of the pint. Now we're gonna ask ourselves, multiply or divide. How do we get from one to two? How do we get from one to two. We multiply by two. We got bigger. One times two is two. So to get this, we're going to do ten times two equals that. So for this one, the number is getting larger. The one above, it was getting smaller. 
8 to 1. 8 fluid ounces to 1 cup. Here we're going 1 cup to 2 pints. So 1 times 2 is 2. 10 times 2 is... 10 times 2 is 20 pints. So, so far we have 20 pints of that answer. Now look here. 20 pints is what we have, but they're asking for cups. So that's not our final answer. We know right now that we have 20 pints. That's what we know for sure. But we need to change the pints into cups. So 20 pints equals how many cups? 20 pints equals how many cups? Again, we're going to match the reds. One pint on top of the pint. And two cups on top of the cups. How did you get from one to two? You multiplied. One times two is two. One times two is two. Therefore, your equation is going to be 20 times 2 is 40 and it's cups and that's exactly what we want 40 cups so our first step was we changed the 10 quarts into pints and our second step is to change the pints that we got which was 20 into cups okay hope that helped now for the less than, greater than, or equal to, you're going to be pretty much doing what you did on the top ones. The only difference is you only have to convert one of them. So let's say you want to take the 17 quarts. All you have to do is 17 quarts equals how many gallons? And once you solve this, then you're going to see the amount of gallons is this less than, greater than, or equal to 4. So all you have to do is take the first one, change it into how many of the, um, the other measurement it turns into, and then see if this number, these 17 quarts equals that many gallons, is less than, greater than, or equal to. I'll show you that again, and I'll slow it down a little. You're taking the 100 fluid ounces in the second problem. 100 fluid ounces. And we're going to convert it into pints, into how many pints. And if you look at this statement, this statement right here looks exactly like what we were doing above. This statement right here looks like exactly like what we've been doing above. So all you're doing when we're comparing or contrasting is you're taking the measurement they gave you, 17 quarts, and you're changing it to the same exact measurement um, unit, I should say, the same exact unit, as the one above it, and you're going to compare this number to the four gallons. Is it less than or greater than or equal to? Here you're taking the 100 fluid ounces, and you're changing it into pints, and once you get this answer, you're going to say, is it less than, greater than, or equal to 16? Let me do it one more time. For 96 fluid ounces is less than, greater than, or equal to 8 pints, all you need to do is take that 96 fluid ounces, 96 fluid ounces, and you're going to say, is that less than, greater, and how much, how many pints does that make? That's all. So you're taking your 96 fluid ounces, you're taking the measurement pint, and you're going to say the unit, I don't know why I keep calling it measurement, um, the unit pints. Once you convert 96 fluid ounces into pints, now you can compare this answer, is it less than, greater than, or equal to 8? All right, good luck with that section. One more section to go. Okay. Vicky made a recipe for 144 fluid ounces of scented candle wax. How many one cup candle molds can she fill with the recipe? So. Vicky made a recipe for 144 fluid ounces of scented candle wax. This right here is her total. She has 144 fluid ounces. And their total always goes on top. What they're asking is, how many one cup candle molds can she, uh, molds can she fill with the recipe? So this, this is mold one. 
And in mold 1, there is 1 cup. In mold 2, there is 1 cup. And so in every single mold, there is 1 cup, but we don't know how many molds she can have. And the mold is kind of like a, a casing of something, and I'll show you an example later on at, in school. But what you're doing right here is, normally, we would just do 144 divided by 1. But why can't we do that quite yet? Because we have fluid ounces and cups. So you have two choices. You could either change 144 fluid ounces into blank cups. And when you get this answer, this 144 fluid ounces equals how many cups? You could now divide this amount of cups by 1 to find your amount of molds. So, 144 fluid ounces goes on top because that's your total. This is one cup. This is one cup. One cup is being repeated. The only reason why we can't do 144 divided by 1 is because 1 is fluid ounces and 1 is cups. So to solve that, change your 144 fluid ounces into cups. And this problem looks exactly like what we did on top. So solve this one, and now you divide these two numbers. The other way you could do it is if you were to change, and I'll do, since it's the second way, I'll do it in a different color, you could change your cups to fluid ounces. And so, if you change one cup equals how many fluid ounces, then you could do 144 divided by this number, whatever this fluid ounce is, once you convert one cup equals that many fluid ounces. So you do 144 divided by that number. So, Choose which method you want to do. I hope that being able to help you set this up um, started the equation for you. If I went a little fast, break it down, slow it down, rewind. Um, but that's more than enough hints that I want to give you for number 16. Um, if you have any questions, you could ask me tomorrow.